Hello again, and now this is a continuation of our last video. The doors are replaced. Uh, the hinges are replaced with new soft closed hinges that soft close like this. If I open up one door, you'll notice folks that it goes like this. And then as for the drawer, the new drawer box has been incorporated into this opening and it closes like this. Nice and soft and quiet. Now, if I pan around to the other side here, slowly, I'm just adjusting for light. We talked about a couple of small imperfections that we had to correct on in this kitchen before we actually did the painting. Uh, one note just above here, we, we pulled the cabinet forward and if I just use my pencil, there was a big line along here and you probably see a faint, faint line because I'm joining two cabinets together still but one was stepped back about a quarter of an inch. So we had to take this one center cabinet and pull it forward a bit just to line it up and sand it down just to kind of level off the cabinet before we painted it. Uh, the customer decided to keep the microwave box right where it was. So we just simply painted in the side there. Uh, also two along the bottom, we incorporated two rollouts in this particular cabinet right in here. So this gives the customer a lot more storage, whereas before they just had a standard adjustable shelf. So after doing that, we then incorporated, again, new soft closed drawers along the top here, right here, okay? And all the drawers were replaced along this side too. Oh, I should just add here too, folks, uh, this toaster came all the way from England and just a FYI you'll notice that these plugs are 220 not like a regular Canadian or American made toaster which is 120 so this is a specially fitted toaster that came all the way from England same with the kettle too just a little bit of information there for you to know um, anyways moving right along here folks this cabin here uh, had two new doors incorporated, whereas before it was just a standard cabinet with an open shelf. So again, we uh, we added an extra shelf in for this customer just for storage also. Along the top, we incorporated all new crown molding, whereas before there was none at all. And I'm just going to pan around here too. And this kitchen took me, I would say about three full days to complete. So again folks, I thank you for watching and we'll talk to you again.